Uh-huh. My question, by the person dear reference, uh-huh. uh, okay, Genesis chapter 1, verse 22, yeah. uh-huh. I say, let us create man in our own image and let them have kingdom. Yeah. Over uh, Isaiah 9, verse 6, so the same kingdom. Mm-hmm. Now, Bible, so can say, in the fullness of time, God sent his son. Okay, Luke 16, 16, and upon for me said, the law and the prophet were until John, the mm-hmm. kingdom. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I will share in the fullness of time, and he's telling us that the kingdom is what coming. Mm-hmm. Now, back to my question. Mm-hmm. My question is, uh, sir, okay, Uziah forces, I'll say, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Mm-hmm. And because they have rejected knowledge, I, I will also reject thee. That's right. Uh, Matthew 8 verse 9, the centurion, mm-hmm. he uses his knowledge to convince Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 15 ah. verse 26. No, of course you remember. <laughs> remember. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew 15 verse 26. Uh-huh. Uh, woman, uh, Jesus catch and so I dog. No? Mm-hmm. Our call, the chief, I said, a good uh, form, no crown, no. Uh, Yes, well, who can say, yeah, yeah, DB. Yes. That's knowledge. Mm-hmm. And the woman with the issue of blood, the same mm-hmm. knowledge. That's right. Uh, Matthew 22, verse 37. Jesus talk about love. Mm-hmm. I say, the, fair, the, the best commandment people should abide is uh, uh, love. Mm-hmm. And First Corinthians 13, they say, I say, abide faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. My question is, so she nimdia, yes, who kissed the worker, nimdia, ah, nimdia walk to me, nimdia walk to me. Now, Oba loves one as a kingdom citizens. Then I say, yeah, a priority between the love and the knowledge. Knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, it's useless to love people. If you don't have knowledge, they have come to kill people. You don't have knowledge to protect them. Will your love protect them? No. Yes. When you don't have knowledge, it is impossible to love people. When you don't have knowledge, it is totally and completely out for you to love people. So knowledge is prime. In fact, when you don't have knowledge, God does not exist. <laughs> yes. It takes knowledge for you to know that God exists. Hmm? Take knowledge for you to know God exists. So, in fact, without knowledge, nothing builds a relationship between you and God. That's why God said, because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. That's the God who loves you. Come on now. That God who said he loves you. He says, even though I love you, when you lack knowledge, I will reject you. That means if you lack knowledge, my love will not work. That's what it means. This is biblical. This is scripture. So, look. If God's children have knowledge, you don't need to preach to people. They will come to you. This world is confused because the people who claim they are God's children, they don't have knowledge. Yes, we don't have knowledge. So, we don't attract people. That is where I've talked about value. A dear. You must build ideas. You must learn to use ideas. Some of you, when you hear things, you cannot even understand. So, Prophet Kura, then of our children. Bisa and so are un bisa. Ente ufi ha. Na bibiae munai. So, you can't progress. Who can you do that? Ube bahasa. What do you mean? Asoru ku member. Meanwhile, as I say, I Nipa. Now, I'm not a 
said the bear, Baby, our baby, our tea, a nipper will be attracted to you. My mother had knowledge, of. she had not been to school, but she was so wise that every UN woman official that will come to Bulga, they will bring her to her. They will tell her, This woman, if she advises you, your project will succeed. Why? She has knowledge. Knowledge attracts people. And knowledge promotes your God. So, if there is no knowledge, love doesn't work. That's what God said. If you lack this knowledge, I will also reject you. So that means, even when you lack knowledge, God's love cannot work. That's why he rejects you. Are you alright now? Yes, next question. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the word, and mm -hmm. the word was with God, mm -hmm. and the word was with God. Mm -hmm. It means that in the beginning, God was idea, and the idea was with God, and idea is God. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you've put in ideas in us, it means that we need to come out with those ideas. Yes. If we don't have that idea mm -hmm. that you've given us now, mm -hmm. once we have listened from you, that means that we have received the idea. Yes. So therefore, we might as well prove it out. Yes. Okay, that is what I want to. Good. That's what it's supposed to be. In fact, originally, you are an idea you've been working about. Like he said. Because in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word became God. And walked among what? Flesh. So if he says he's created you in his own image, and God himself is an idea, that means you are also an image embodiment of what? Idea. That is why a baby, when a baby crawls, and it's going to the lantern. Leave the baby. When the baby touches the lantern, it will bend the baby. The baby will never go to the lantern again. Why? Idea. The baby has developed an idea that, ah, that is lantern. It is attractive. But if I touch it, it will bend me. Idea. <laughs> when you are feeding the baby, you see the baby will lift its tiny, beautiful hand and hold a spoon. Idea. The baby has it in herself or himself already. The baby just needs activation. So you are an idea. All you need is activation and that is what I'm activating you now. Wake up! That is all you need to do. Okay, next question. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, when someone manifests an idea, when someone manifests an idea, he brings respect to his God. Yes. And I saw that with the world, if people have brought their technology, so now people of the world are now interested in the God who is giving them the idea to do the technology and everything. Perfect. So now people are respecting Satan. Satanism is now a religion. When it comes to God's children, the last time. <coughs> People manifested power was Moses, Abraham. So people are like, ah. so if they are all believing in this God, why is that their God has not done anything for this century, this decade now? But see how the devil children, they are every day, they are bringing something new. So they are, they are getting more fans and audience for Satan. When it comes to God's side, we are not manifesting anything about God. We are not showing that God is alive, God is, alive. God is there. So people are not even attracted to know more about our God. Except well, everyone is going to Satan. Because Satan when you go to him, go just say for example, let's say your phone gets lost and go to the Juman. The Juman will tell you that go, go to here and do this, you find your phone. But we call Christos soon, what are they la a sack? And I have a that's gone. But when you go to Satan, Satan is able to solve problems. When you come to God's place, God's children are not able to bring solutions to any problem. Perfect. For example, Ghana. Ghana is 70% Christian. 
But look at how the country is being moved. Kaga are suffering. But you see, Satan's children are able to get into politics and they are taking over. So now people want to go to Satan for Satan to put them in positions while yes. God's children are suffering mm -hmm. and Satan's children are ruling us. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to say. Perfect. Clap for that. Yeah. 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 That is what shows that we have to wake up. Yes. Because it's clear that the God's people are not doing anything. Even in politics, the God's people, nothing. In business, the God's people, nothing. We, we are not doing anything. That's a very good point. That is why kingdom must show the difference. I can't wait to see that. Yes. yes. We must show the difference. It's not about it will happen, though. It's happening. No, it's not about it's happening. <laughs> what have you done? What have I made? You see, the two of them are competing, quoting scriptures. What have we done? What are you able to do? That is the matter. We, we should bring that our word of God to God. We must let it work. And you see, it is not about, hey, I have to fast. No, I have to be like prophet. No! It is the word of God you must use. And you must believe in that word. And you must put it to practice. Then God works. It's not about you going to do this, you going to do that. We have delayed in our understanding of God's word. That is what is holding us back. But when it comes to religious Christianity, forget of it, because that's why we have left there. Because that place, nothing can ever happen. No. Because the people have decided that they are going to heaven. So what do you want to have here again? Yeah, they have already concluded. They are going to heaven. So even when a child of God wants to go into it, oh, no, 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 heaven. Uh, the world is not our home. So they have agreed that the devil should take it. So nothing can happen there. Nothing. If not, why must 70% Christians are in this nation? And that this country is like this. Hmm? Do you know that even if the Christians decide to form their own party and choose their own people who have at least small Holy Ghost in them, they will steal our money. Oh, when there is small Holy Ghost in you, what you want to steal is difficult though. Okay, even if you steal, oh, look at you. But you see, people that don't have Holy Ghost in them, crap. What they are stealing? Hey! So at least, let's do something as kingdom people. Every word you hear, hear. Go home and put it to practice. Go and put it to test. At least, where you live, tell yourself, God, I've heard your word. Though. God, let my eyes begin to see some things. God, those people with crooked spirits in my area. Let me see them. Let me see them first. And when I see them, then I'll ask you what to do with them. At least you are putting the word to what? Action. But when you hear and go, then you sleep, then come back. Oh, oh, prophet has spoken today. Wow. My speaking today is useless. Oh. Unless you go back and use it. Put it to action. And bring results. That is what Christianity cannot do. Because they are not taught to do. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how to do that. Jeremiah 1, 9 to 10, the Bible says that God said, I have this day put my words in your mouth. Hey! 
Let somebody open the Bible. Read it. I have this day put my words in your mouth. Jeremiah 1, 9 to 10. It's one of the most powerful scriptures. Eh? Read it, if you have found it. Then the Lord put forth his hand uh -huh. and touched my mouth. Wow. And the Lord said unto me, mm. Behold, mm. I have put my words in thy mouth. Aye, aye, aye. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Come on now. And over the kingdoms. Come on. Root out. Hey. And pull down. Jesus. And destroy. And to destroy. Botoya. And to throw down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. To it's too much, Seth. Hey. So. Look, open this scripture and say, God, look, oh, you said this, oh. Who can answer me? But I am here, Jeremiah. And the ninety no foul satuman no, foul semino etuman no. Na mi na mamin tutu, mamin tutu amai ahinye. Na se ube timia tutu amai ne ahinye. O o amen temu hano. Why the bet my error? How some of us don't do the one car? Hey! Look! This is the word of God, oh! Challenge God! Say, this is your word! Do it and let's see! And God will work up! The Hebrew boy said, even if our God will not save us, we will enter this fire. God said, ah, I cannot sit down. Even when they said you should sit down, they said that, oh, if God, you, you don't want to say, but no problem, we will enter for you. How much more you tell God, this is your way. Ah. You see, when you get angry with the expression of God's word, that's how it goes into your spirit. Hey. If you want prayer, this is the best prayer. Yes. Yes. Because when we say power no hold and nothing. This is the word of God. Challenge God. Hey, muti asemso, muti agro. This is God's word. He said he put his mouth in Jeremiah's mouth. Okay, Martin Yami, mi mi nyaya Jeremiah. Faudinte Yami, mi 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 ya ama. Fausa de tu mi ma ama so manu fawasem de tu na mamin tu tu ni ama. And comfort to see you fear to tomorrow. I didn't hear soon to two mind until you fear the air as Sakura. Put God's word to action. Jeremiah 1 9 to 10. It's one of the most powerful words I have used all over this world. Every place I get to when I use Jeremiah 1 9 to 10. People will call me, hey, prophet. Hey, that prayer is working. Everywhere. This is where. Because it's not you telling God, oh, he said he has put his words in your mouth. Already he's looking for mouths to put words. And then you went and offered your mouth. Hey! He's looking for words and a mouth to put his words inside. Or you can't depend on and on your nipple, I quote Jeremiah. Catch us and yammy, bone to my beard or two. Hey! And charge your spirit! Get charge! Ah! Here, somewhere you cry, who did you America? Who made a contract? Here, and fear our America and comfort me to know. Spirits are dear for a book. Hey! And few and to our uncle for be a from some gold busters. Now, from with normal from a former car. Now, who can pump gold? Ghost there, come around. 
Now we have a coffee on a more pack goes in a chop. Oh, yeah, a chop. And I hope it's great. It will be a great for him. Now, a pack goes in a chop. Now, my Chinese cow. Now, my pack goes in a chop. Now, negotiation now. Now, much in a few. Maybe I'm waiting for two, three months. Now, goes out of you. Take this west there. This Jeremiah 1 9 to 10 and see whether some ghosts can fool there. No one. Kabo Sire. Go there. May God give you understanding. Amen. 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 understanding power. Amen. But I give you this word. Don't fuck off here. Now head you my bit amount. I'm telling you. You uproot them from your community. You uproot people. You, hey! May God help you. Amen. 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 Okay, if there's no question, let's close. Now I come main lesson. Hmm? Yes, and no question. Okay, God bless you for listening. This is discipleship. So get ready for.